look, Bill O'Brien may not be the best coach in the world, but Jesus Christ, does his offensive system help out Will Fuller? Like, Will Fuller looks like a wide receiver god in Bill O'Brien's system. And maybe that's more of Will Fuller than it is Bill O'Brien's system. But they look at like Kiki is, too. Like, Kiki oh played God. three games and, like, 30 catches. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see what this offense can do with Bill O'Brien. Uh, with Bill O'Brien calling the plays, with his, his offensive scheme, if guys can stay healthy, I'm really excited to see. And, if, look, I, saying uh, me, and me saying I'm annoyed with Bill O'Brien, I don't want them to fire him because we've said this. We said this on – with Jeremy Branham on the bull rush as many uh, we, until we were blue in the face. Like if you fire Bill O'Brien, what do you go get then? Like mm-hmm. who do you go hire? So it's not that I want to fire Bill O'Brien yet. It's not that I want to fire him. It's just, I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed by him. Like you understand what your job title is. You understand the details of what you're going to have to, uh, what you're going to have to deal with. Cole Thompson said, yeah, Bill really hates us. Sorry, Cole. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Cole yeah. He definitely hates all of us, but yeah, like he, he, but but you a little bit more. But <laughs> it's not your fault. I'm not saying it's not a bad thing. It's just, but you know what though? Cole asks tough questions. Exactly, like, and people can, don't. Exactly, and and you know what? That's the one thing. That's the one thing I'll say is like Cole lose, loses his fucking credential over this soft from the soft ass Texans PR. Which Jesus Christ, if I ever hope to get credentials doing this side <laughs> shit, just I'm not. Them. I just lost them. But look, I love everybody there. Everybody that I work with, John, Amy, all every single one yeah. of them that I've worked with Texans PR, they're all great people. But it's a soft ass organization when it comes. I mean, I sat there one day, and I'll tell this story, which I couldn't fucking tell it when I was on six ten, and I forgot about this. I sat in the locker room where they've got the ping pong table and they, they play ping pong all the time. And I had done all the interviews I needed to do. I'd gotten all the audio I needed to get. I was just waiting for one more person who wasn't in there. And so I decided to start doing play-by-play commentary on the ping pong match between DJ oh, Reader yeah. and JJ Watt. And I was going to get it and use it on the bull rush. I thought it was, I thought it would humanize them. I thought it was, was hilarious. I'm sitting there with, with freaking, uh, um, with Dylan Cole and some other guys, like getting them to give commentary. I called JJ Watts backhand trash and he stared me down and I probably shouldn't have done that, but the audio was going to be hilarious. And Amy comes up to me and immediately goes, yeah, you're going to have to delete that. I'm like, yeah, what? And she, yeah. she's like, yeah, you're, that's not what this is for. You're going to have to delete that. That's not what this is for. And I'm just sitting there like the Texans, they're in the middle of sucking ass. Cause it was the beginning of the season. I think that was they, like, Oh, that was like, Oh, and two. That was it. Oh, and two. And, 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 and like that everybody in the city hated them. They hated Bill O'Brien. Well, let's humanize these motherfuckers for a little bit. And so I thought maybe doing that would be fun and they shut it down. So they're soft and they control the message to the, to the umpteenth degree. And it's, and it's really, really frustrating. And that's all of that. All of that is, is all a symptom of who Bill O'Brien is. It's all a symptom of Bill O'Brien trying to play everything to the chest. And I'm totally fine with that. I've said it a million times. I'm fine with him playing everything to the chest or against his chest and not telling anybody anything, but jump through the hoops. Don't act like a douchebag to people that are doing their jobs. Don't sit there and treat everybody like they're not supposed to be asking you those questions or that you're inconvenienced. Like people don't want to be asking you dumb questions, but I do agree. And this is what Cole did. I absolutely do agree. There need to be tougher questions asked. And if I ever look, if I ever got credentials doing this on the side, if if for some reason I ever got them, I would almost immediately have them revoked. Because I can't believe you didn't get yours revoked last year when you asked Brock Osweiler <laughs> about fumbling a fumble touchdown again. Like uh, when you asked him that, that's one of the funniest things you've ever done. Yeah, but yeah, I feel like I think, funnier, but that was good. Yeah, I mean, it was so awkward. Uh, my uh, my uncle Phil, uh, my uncle Philip just said, "Wow, dude, certainly not building goodwill with the Texans." Look, I'm not, I'm gonna say this to everybody right now. Uh, somebody said, "Who is the tastiest quarterback on Twitch?" Uh, we'll we'll go through tastiest quarterbacks. I do have my uh, QB, uh, what is it? My my QB cutie pie rankings uh, for the uh-huh. NFL. So maybe we'll go through those cutie pie rankings. Uh, but but like I, I'm not building goodwill with the Texans. That's not what I'm doing this for. I didn't yeah. get into sports talk to build goodwill with the teams. Number one, I like entertaining people and making them laugh. Number two, I like talking sports. And number three, I like being a fan. This everything that I'm doing with the wasted talent is all about the fans. It's all about the fan perspective i'm not doing this for the team